guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be talking about some skincare trends that uh, I am seeing uh, all of this information I got from Allure magazine and independent uh, code UK okay so these are basically some skincare trends that we should look out for in the coming months Mm -hmm. based on what is going on all right so we're gonna start first with um, microbiome that is a probiotic friendly uh, skincare that is just basically using um, uh, bacteria or safe bacteria because you know that we have good and bad bacteria so good bacteria to ensure that we have healthy looking skin okay so they're saying based on allure magazine magazine they're saying that we should expect to see um microbiome uh probiotic probiotic friendly uh skincare in the coming future because you know with the whole uh bacteria covid19 and all of that and just the entire environment that we are currently living in uh it has encouraged um scientists researchers dermatologists to explore various forms of skincare and one of them is to look into uh, bacteria safe skincare like skincare that will encourage or skincare bacteria that will encourage our skin to maintain its healthy uh, glow or healthy balance pretty much that's what they're expecting on the contrary sometimes these um, bacteria based or safe bacteria based skincare they can go against us sometimes they can instead of working for us they can work against us especially if we have acne and maybe eczema and so forth but based on what is going on and based on alert magazine they are saying that we should expect those type of skincare and for example me would i invest in that type of skincare i would be curious about it uh, at first so maybe I would invest in it but I'm not really sure if I would like invest in that type of skincare I would have to like look at it see how it works for other people and so forth and then look into it you know what I'm saying but it's very interesting and I wouldn't say no to that type of skincare if it is you know promoted or if it's trendy pretty much then the next one is celebrity skincare and of course we know that a lot of celebrities have come out with various or uh, different type of uh, skincare um, we see Rihanna we see um, JLo we see Pharrell Williams and uh, we see Alicia Keys and all of these people that are actually uh, promoting or selling skincare or celebrity based skincare they're actually people who we see them and we admire them, their beautiful skin and so forth. So we know that they are actually about skin. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much like Alicia Keys, she has stopped wearing makeup. So she's actually promoting natural skin and so forth. So we know that she's actually practicing it. We see um, Pharrell Williams, he has beautiful skin for his age, almost 50, looks pretty nice. So definitely people want to know what they are using to uh, keep them so young and fresh and healthy and their skin look, you know, really good and so forth. And they, some of them, they had problems like Alicia Keys, she had problems like growing up and so forth with acne and so forth so definitely people will support those type of um, celebrities or influencers per se because they have real issues and they're actually advocates pretty much okay and when it comes to JLo now we know that she naturally has beautiful skin so if she comes out with like a skincare definitely people will gravitate towards that and you know in light of everything COVID-19 a lot of people when it comes to like makeup people stop wearing makeup not really stop wearing makeup but people are more about their skin because of the whole environment bacteria virus and everybody just wants clean clear glowy skin free from all type of virus and bacteria so when it comes to like celebrity skin it's a market for celebrities to spread their wings yes 
but you know not everybody I won't support everybody because a lot of these skincare you know they're very expensive because they're celebrities and they're promoting their own name or they're selling their name and not necessarily the product itself but we should expect to see more celebrity skincare and one of the celebrity skincare that I am or I would be interested in is a celebrity skincare that is drugstore so if you want if you want to promote your skincare and you're a celebrity and you have your name I believe that you should try to also not only market towards people that are rich but also people that would love to support you and also they want good products that are actually affordable if you want to spread your wings within you know the skincare uh, industry pretty much because I would support a celebrity skincare if that person is if I believe that person is you know they they they're reputable and they have experience and they they have been about skin and so forth I would support them if the skincare is affordable like when I say affordable I mean like in between like ten dollars to twenty dollars because the reason why I don't necessarily support a lot, not support per se, like I don't buy a lot of celebrity skincare is because it's a little bit expensive. I might buy one bottle of a celebrity skincare, but I cannot maintain or I cannot purchase them on a long term basis because it's too expensive. Okay, so I believe that if a celebrity, if they come out with affordable skincare, something that we can purchase consistently on a consistent basis then definitely and it's good effective then definitely I would support it so I think that if you're a celebrity watching this video definitely consider that drugstore celebrity skincare for example at like ordinary like something a little bit better than the ordinary but something towards that end you know what I'm saying pretty much and then the next thing that we should look out for is Based on Allure magazine, they're saying that we should look out for um, blue light prote blue light protection skincare. So this is basically, um, you know, that we are using a lot of the uh, the computers, the laptops, and so forth because of the current situation. We have to use the internet to do our jobs. We have to use the internet for schooling and so forth. So because of that, now uh, we are exposed to the blue light. Uh, the rays from the light and so forth and the blue light is actually damaging to the skin so Allure magazine is saying that we should look out for that type of skincare skincare with um, blue light protection okay because that would be definitely that would definitely be trendy and that would definitely be good for us in this time so I think that would be good because I use my laptop, my phone and all of that a lot, maybe like 75% of the time and I would want protection from, you know, blue light, especially if it will give you hyperpigmentation, you know what I'm saying? So Allure Magazine is saying that, look out for that, that's a trend or it should be a trend and I am for that. Then the next thing in there saying that we should look out for skincare to calm inflammation why should we look for skincare to calm inflammation because a lot of people are experiencing mass knee those who've, who've never experienced acne before and so forth and pimples and so forth they're experiencing experiencing it right now inflammations and so forth so if we have products available right now in this time for this particular problem then definitely it, it's trendy it would be trendy and we should expect skincare like that basically and they're also saying like niacinamide is also an anti-inflammatory ingredient and right now a lot of brands they're promoting their products with niacinamide they're promoting their product with niacinamide so, so yes niacinamide is like a flagship for a lot of products nowadays uh, new products that you're, they're introducing and that's mainly because it is an anti-inflammatory ingredients and basically Allure magazine is saying that we should look out for more for products that have niacinamide okay so if you're not using niacinamide already you should start using it now because it is an anti-inflammatory ingredient and it will help you to calm to soothe irritated inflamed skin 
pretty much. All right, so the next thing that they're saying is uh, hand care products. We should look for hand care products, like hand care products with, with like um, hydrating ingredients like Sika and so forth. Meda Medacasoside that is a Korean uh, moisturizing agent like anything that is um, hand care related moisturizing because you know that we are using a lot of hand sanitizers and so forth and sometimes it can strip our like hands and so forth so we should expect in 2021 to see hand care like trendy hand care uh, products or ingredients basically and then the next thing that they're saying that is going to be trendy is refillable skincare. And uh, if you know, like Rihanna came out with a product that is like refillable because it's also sustainable in a sense. And I believe it is very marketable too. When you have refillable products, uh, you are basically encouraging your consumers to repurchase. So if you give them, if I have, if I buy a product and there is a there's a refillable container it's going to encourage me to want to repurchase the product itself so while it is not only sustainable or environmentally friend environmentally friendly it's also a way to market your products you know what i'm saying because when you have something that is refillable i'm going to want to repurchase it so that i can use my you know what i'm saying use my refillable uh thing basically and we would see that with the human race with pharrell he has a um refillable product and rihanna is also doing it so we should expect other brands that are going to do it or we're we're supposed to expect other brands to do it because it's basically going to be a trendy thing which i believe is good because it's a marketing strategy one and it's also environmentally friendly or sustainable then the next thing that they're saying is basically going to be trendy in 2021 is skin barrier cream and i would definitely agree with that because right now because we are using a lot of active a lot of acids we are always we want to um repair our skin barriers because we are using a lot of acids on our skin and mainly because we want to be free from bacteria right we're cleansing the skin we're washing we're doing a lot of exfoliating because we want to make sure that we are clean from bacteria for from dirt from acne from pimples and so forth then guess what we need Sometimes we're going to end up damaging our moisture barrier and so forth. So we are, we are going to need skin barrier uh, creams and lotions, especially right now that it's also very cold in some countries. So we're going to need some barrier repairing cream. And uh, I totally agree with that because even now I'm using a lot of barrier rec repairing uh, creams and ingredients and I'm going towards barrier repairing creams and ingredients because I don't want to so while I want to exfoliate and get rid of the dead skin and all of that I still want to maintain my natural skin barrier so I totally agree that this should be trendy in 2021 and then the next one that they're saying that we should expect better sunscreen improved technologies when it comes to sun protection and this will also it will go hand in hand with the blue lights uh, protect protection skincare because we want to protect our skin more because we are using a lot of actives yes and also if you notice in Korea there was this big um issue surrounding i think the purita uh sunscreen because it was advertised as spf 50 but they found something contrary to that i'll give you all the information in the description if you want to find out what that is what that was all about so it was a big conspiracy when it cut when it came to the sunscreen and it being marketed as spf 50 but it wasn't actually spf 50 it was a big situation so a lot of people right now they're exploring um spf they're looking at their spf and i believe also that brands are going to be improving their uh their sun protect uh their spf and they're going to also invest in um blue light uh protection spf pretty much so expect to see that trend in 2021 
then the next one i think is also we are going to be seeing a lot of um uh what do you say no like less is more type of skincare based on uh allure and independent co dot uk so they're saying that we're, we should expect a lot of that type of vibe less is more type of skincare pretty much because it will encourage us not to overuse our skincare and it will also encourage us to be basic with how we are applying skincare because you know in the whole skincare environment we are so um crazy we are so excited and we really want to take care of our skin so we try to buy a lot of products so expect this trend according to allure magazine and independent uk we should expect the less is more approach to skincare in 2021 and then last but not least uh they're saying also that online skincare and uh, online skincare what do you say now yeah basically online skincare we should expect that trend too and definitely we should expect that trend because in light of the whole lockdown process and procedures we can't really go out if we want to see the dermatologist we have to do everything at home and so forth so we should expect to see a lot of companies doing that and expect that trend to be trendy in 2021 and last but not least this should have been the last one we should also expect to see a lot of um devices or skincare devices being sold or that trend to be alive if it wasn't alive before it's going to be more alive um in 2021 because a lot of people are not going to be at the dermatologist office they're not going to spend their money they're going to maybe be in lockdown trying to do self-care and a lot of skincare like treatments and stuff at home so we should expect a lot of brands to come out with a lot of skincare or self-care tools that will help our skin pretty much okay so that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i totally agree with most of these and i think that it should be a trend also because actually beneficial to a lot of people including myself and uh, yeah pretty much that's it so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you in the next one Bye bye